Welcome to the knowledge of variables. Here we are going to discuss what is variable, definition of independent and dependent variables with examples, definition of categorical or discrete or qualitative variables with examples, definition of continuous or quantitative variables with examples. So, what is variables? A variable is something that is need to be measured. So, anything that is need to be measured is called variables. Now, we are going to see what is independent variables, what is dependent variable. Independent variable is also known as experimental variable or predictor variable. So, independent variable is also known as experimental or predictor variable. Independent variable is a variable that is the cause or reason of any situation which can be manipulated. On the other hand, dependent variable is something that depends on other factors. It is also known as outcome variable. Here we can see an example of independent variable and dependent variable. The example is time spent studying causes a change in the test mark. So the more time spent on studying will result a change in the test mark. Here the time spent studying is independent variable and test mark I mean the GPA is a dependent variable. Test mark depends on time spent on studying. Now we are going to learn what is categorical variable and what is continuous variable. Categorical variable is also known as discrete or qualitative variable. There are three types of categorical variables. Nominal variable, ordinal variable, dichotomous variable. These three variables are known as categorical variables. In the next slide, we will learn the detailed definition of nominal, ordinal and dichotomous variable. Continuous variable is also known as quantitative variable. This variable is not restricted to particular values. Here we can see there are two types of continuous variable. Number one, interval variable. Number two, ratio variable. So here we are going to see the details, examples of categorical variables with definition. We can see uh, nominal variables, it's a categorical variables. Nominal variables are variables which don't have any intrinsic order. For example, a real estate agent could classify their types of property into distinct categories such as houses, condos and bungalows. Now we are going to learn what is dichotomous variables. Dichotomous variables are nominal variables which have only two categories or levels. For example, if we are looking at gender, we would most probably categorize somebody as either male or female. Here only two category male or female. So two levels of variables is known as dichotomous variable. Now we can see ordinal variables. Ordinal variables are variables that can be ordered or ranked. For example, if we asked someone if he liked the policies of a political party and he could answer either not very much, they are okay or yes a lot. And then we have an ordinal variable because these three answers have a order and here nominal variables dichotomous variables and ordinal variables are known as categorical variables now we are going to see continuous variables here interval variables is a continuous variable and internal variables can be measured along a range or a scale 
and they have a numerical value. For example, temperature measured in degrees Celsius. Here, the difference between 10 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius is the same as 20 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Ratio variable is another continuous variable. Ratio variable reflects the fact that we can use the ratio of measurements. For example, a distance of 20 meters is twice the distance of 10 meters. Here we can see another variable. The name of the variable is control variable. Control variable is an extraneous variable that an investigator does not wish to examine in a study. Thus, the investigator controls this variable. It is also known as covariate. Thank you.